Howdy partners, it's your boy here, and we back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. We were just live streaming prior to the trailer drop, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got in here. I was hoping for Tellius, but I don't know if it's going to be Tellius. A new rearmed hero. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, there's no way Air is going to be a rearmed hero, right? Hold on. This can't be Air. Oh. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. All right, so Fell Tactician. We have Female Robin. Very interesting. She's going to be a rearmed hero. So this is very good artwork, by the way. She's going to be a armored dragon colorless type. What is she dress? Is this like Grima attire? I can't really tell. I, I guess she has the red eyes, so she is being controlled by Grima here. It'd probably help if I had the volume turned on so I could hear the voice acting, but I'm going to assume this is evil Robin because she is a dragon here. The regular Robin is just a tome unit. So a rearmed armor hero, guys. She's going to have a save skill, or if she doesn't, you can just give her a save skill and then pass that around. So, yeah, these rearmed heroes are just... <laughs> they're fixed for... um, Whatchamacallit, for the skill inheritance thing. So here we have Arcane Grima. This is going to be an inheritable breath weapon, by the way. And <laughs> Dude, they just keep standing dragon units. We literally just had the Halloween banner with all those new dragon skills and good dragons and the new breath as well. So here's another good weapon. 16 might in one range, accelerates special trigger. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, grants all stats of 5 to unit during combat. It makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Deals damage equal to 15% of unit's attack, including when dealing damage with a special trigger before combat. Recovers 7 HP to unit after combat and adaptive damage. Yeah, this is easily the best breath weapon in the game. I can't believe they made minus one special trigger on an inheritable breath. Like, dude, that's so good. None of these breath weapons have had this before. This is a first for, like, the, the slaying effect on a breath weapon. And <laughs> so soon after we got that... Inheritable breath from the Halloween banner that was really good. <laughs> they were just like, nope, let's just make a better one. Okay, she has Pavis as well. Hardy, dude, what? She has Hardy Fighter? And she's a, a rearmed hero, so you just get a very easy inheritance source now for Hardy Fighter. Okay, Dragon Hide, unique A skill. This one's not going to be inheritable. So, neutralizes effective against armor. If foe initiates combat or foe's HP is over 75% at the start of combat, inflicts all stats minus 8 on the foe and grants special cooldown charge plus 1 to unit per attack during combat. So special cooldown charge plus 1, that would be breath effect. That's not guard on the foe, which would have been a little bit nicer, I think. Yeah, the special cooldown charge plus one is to her, right? I, I believe. This is not guard. This is breath. So that's good. She gets all stats minus eight on the enemy. That's ludicrous. All right, and then she has attack and speed near save. A brand new save skill. If foe uses sword, lance, axe, dragon stone, or beast damage and initiates combat against an ally in two spaces, gets save, and then you get attack and speed of four when you do that. I'm not really too sure if this is going to see too much use necessarily. Probably not too bad for your Winter Manuelas to pick that up. Because she's one of those armored units that actually likes having speed. <laughs> and here we are. I love this. We're fighting in Mordor, right? Because we have the friggin' Eye of Sauron in the back there. One does not simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> you need an army. Okay, here's the next hero. Who do we got here? Oh, Gregor. Okay. So we got Swell Sword Gregor. I was kind of wondering like, when they were going to add this guy, but here he is. So he's going to be a sword infantry type. I'm surprised he's not the demote, but okay. He seems like demote energy, right? Like this is the type of unit they would make a demote. But no, we have a perf weapon from Gregor. So, Blade of Favors, we got 16 Might. 
Accelerate special trigger. At the start of player phase or enemy phase, if any foes are in three rows or three columns centered on unit, inflicts attack speed and defense minus six on those foes through the next actions and grants attack speed and defense up six to unit for one turn. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, inflicts penalty on foes attack speed and defense during combat equal to five plus any current penalty on each of those stats and reduce damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40%. Okay. Okay, that's a weapon. So we have, like, Super Menace there. It's not the four-range space of Menace, but it's three-range, and it does three stats. So in some ways, I would say this is actually a better version of Menace skills, and it's going to trigger at the start of the enemy turn as well. So, like, if this guy shows up as a boss on one of the maps, he could just start the turn and do all of these debuffs to your units that's not going to be fun and then he's got like a super version of the plegian effect he's got 40 percent dr okay i'm surprised gregor got such a good weapon there bonfire solid ground four grants attack and defense up seven and inflicts res minus five so another variant like still water now we have solid ground this is going to be good for your aoe units that need to do like aoe specials and then we got Infantry Null Follow 3. At the start of turn, grants Null Follow up to Infantry Allies in two spaces. <laughs> so already they're just putting that on another unit. Okay. Alright, so here is his attacking artwork. Okay, so this is going to be the Demote Hero. We have Pegasus Master. For some reason, I'm not familiar with... Okay, Phila. Why do I not remember this character? I don't think this was a... Play was this a playable character? I don't even remember. It's been ages since I played Awakening, but... Okay, this is a Lance Flyer. She's going to be the demote, of course, because she showed up third on the banner. We have Rain Lance. Inflicts speed and defense minus five on foes in two spaces. That's a throwaway... You got Iceberg, Brazen Attack, and Res, and then Pegasus Flight 3. Pretty interesting to see that as a demote skill now. But this one wasn't really in vogue even when it came out, so I don't really think you're going to use that one too much. Flyers have definitely gotten way better beast skills since then. <laughs> I think if they gave her, like, something else, like maybe Near Trace or... What's the one that gives you instant desperation? That would have been cool, too. All right, and finally, the woman of the hour. We have Life Ascendant Air, so this is going to be an Ascended Hero. All right, she is going to be a green dagger cavalry type, as we saw in the Tempest Trial. I've already talked at length about this artwork, and I really adore it, so not really too much else to say. So her weapon, we already know what it does, but I'll read it again anyway. Ymir, Ever Living, 14 Might and 2 Range, Accelerates Special Trigger, Unit Initiates Combat or Foes Ranges 2, Gets All Stats of 5 During Combat, and a bonus to Unit's Attack During Combat, equal to 40% of the current ally, or of the current HP of the ally with the second lowest current HP at the start of combat, with a maximum bonus of 20, and neutralizes effects that prevents Unit's follow-up attacks, and also, if unit's HP is over 25% and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero, unit survives with one HP. Once per combat, does not stack with non-special effects that allow unit to survive with one HP if foe's attack would reduce HP to zero. And then Dagger 7, I love that they clipped off Dagger 7 there. She would have been another two-pager like that one Delthea if they actually put the effect of Dagger 7 in there. So it's good that they're at least trimming off some of these effects here. But goddamn, man, this deck. It's literally Brave Seliph on wheels, because she's a ranged cavalry unit with this effect. If you guys thought Seliph was bad enough, now here's a ranged version of that. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some effect to stop Miracle at this point now, because they, they've been just giving Miracle to everyone. So <laughs> that's coming. We're going to see Null Miracle soon. I think Nana actually has it, the legendary Nana. But we're probably going to get a passive or something that does it as well. So, Draconic Aura, we have Attack and Speed Catch 4. <laughs> no level 4 Earth Boost. Kind of a rip there, but whatever. 
Mystic Boost 4, okay. Inflicts attack minus 5 on the foe during combat. Disables foe's skills that calculate damage using lower or foe's defense or res. And calculates damage from staff like other weapons. And if foe uses staff, neutralizes effect that prevents units counter attacks during combat. Recovers 10 HP to unit after combat. Wow, that's very good. Wow, that, that's really good. That's way better than I thought that was going to be. Minus 5 attack, so it's just good against everything. If you're fighting dragons, they can't target her defense, which is very low, by the way. This air has low defense, but solid res. So dragon units are not going to be able to get the best of her by targeting her defense, which is really good. And then you just get 10 HP recovery, and you nullify Dazzling Staff. What the hell? <laughs> and then she does have Sparkling Boost, like I thought. Kind of sad it's not Sparkling Boost 2, or Sparkling Boost Plus. I think that would have been way better. Well, obviously, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, kind of surprising they would release the brand new unit and then not give them the recent version of the skill. But yeah, my thoughts is that the air is definitely a must summon. But I don't know if I'm going to summon. I think I might actually hold off and save my orbs here. Oh, look at this. So we have the new Veronica there. I, I don't know if this is going to be an ascended Veronica or a rearmed Veronica. But there she is on the map. And it looks like we have Rickon as well on the map over there as an infantry green tome type. So Rickon was one of the few child units from Awakening we still don't have in the game. And there he is. So pretty good. I'm pretty sure we're going to get that Veronica in the data mine now, so we're going to see her in before Veronica is on the next banner, too. So they're just going to give us back-to-back -back Ascended Heroes. Okay, Phila is going to be the demote, of course. Oh, Rick no, Rickon is not going to be the free unit from the Grand Hero Battle. He's actually going to be one of those secret four-star and three-star units they introduce. So we, we might actually get a mission to get that Rickon. I would imagine, like they did to all the other ones. And of course, you get a Broccoli Floret, and here they're just explaining the rearmed hero thing with the skill inheritance. So you can grab the weapon and the save skill pretty much. It wasn't as crazy as it could have been. Like, they could have gave her a crazier save skill than that one, but I mean, it's not hard to just give her AD near trace or, or I mean, AD near save or like AR far save or whichever combo of stats you want on the save skill. She already comes with hardy fighter anyway, so that's already pretty good. So that basically wraps us up for this banner. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is your boy Tatro signing out. So take care, fellas. And if you're summoning, then best of luck to you guys.